So here's my previous curtain and I'm going to show you how to make the top, how to join the top of the motifs together and how to make this little cluster flower between the motifs. It's again relatively complicated but once you get the hang of it it's not too bad. So to start make sure all your motifs are the right side up as you're working because if it's the other way round there is a difference. The right side up is smoother, the wrong side up is rough. So you want them all to be facing the same way as you're working. It's a mistake that's easily done and you usually notice it when it's too late. So to start Join at the first picot at the top with a single crochet and now chain 20. Make a circle at the eighth chain from the hook. So make a slip stitch into the eighth chain from the hook. Turn the work. You're going to make a cluster flower and the first petal is going to go into this, the first DC after the picot loop. Now this is relatively complicated. So chain five now make a triple treble into the first chain make a single crochet above the first double crochet chain 5, make a triple treble crochet in the first chain of the chain 5, and now you're going to make a single crochet at the top of the cluster so that's at the top where you made that first five chain on the circle single crochet three into the circle And now we're going to do it again. So chain five, triple treble into the top, into the first chain. And we're going to attach it now to this double crochet. So a single crochet there. Now we're doing it again. We're going to make chain five, triple, treble into the first chain. And 
and now we're going to join the two clusters together again. So in the top of the single crochet that started off the cluster, make another single crochet, chain, then single cro crochet three again. This time we're moving to the next motif. So we want it in mirror image. So the next cluster is going to come into this part of the double crochet. So again it's the first double crochet after the picot. So we chain five. triple treble in the first chain this is where it's important to make sure the two adjoining motifs are facing the same way so make a single crochet triple treble join again at the top single crochet three Now the next petal needs to come into this double crochet, so it's the first double crochet after the picot. attach it join up at the top of the circle and make one single crochet into the circle after the fourth so this is what we have so now the next step is chain 12 and single crochet in the top of the picot of the next motif. So that's the first part of the top of the edging. So now you're going to repeat it all over again between each motif. So you chain 20, make a ring in the eighth, and then again a cluster joined to the first DC after the picot, a second cluster into this one, then a cluster into this one, a cluster into that one, again chain 12 to the next picot and you work your way along. I'll be putting a little diagram there at the end of the video so you can see if you can figure it out. It sounds very complicated and once you get the hang of it and once you've got the idea of what you're doing it's not too bad but to try and write it down 
in a in an instruction is very very complicated because you just get lost you keep on having to read it over and over again and you just give up in the end when I first tried to make these <laughs> there were a few bitter tears cried believe me it's one of the reasons why I reluct I was reluctant to put it up in the past because I always used to make silent films and the main reason I made silent films was because I knew a lot of people from other countries who don't speak English were watching and it would have been extremely difficult to explain in, in silence how to do it. So I'm going to work away along the top now and then I'll be showing you the next step. Once you've got to this stage it's worth measuring up how long your top is because this is the time where you can you can still adjust the size so this is the time where you hold it up measure it and make sure it's long enough to fit across the window because here at this moment if it was too short you could add a further motif so now we're going to turn the work around and we're going to cover the chain spaces with single crochet there's not a set amount but I would do about 14 what you want is it to form a straight line all the way across some people might work looser, some people might work tighter. It also depends on the thread you're using, so there's no real fixed number. So once you've finished covering the top chains with single crochet, chain five, which would count as one double crochet chain two, Skip two, the two, two single crochet below, double crochet in the third. And now we're going to just go along and do chain two, double crochet in the third below. So we're going to go all the way to the end. You would use this top to either run a wire through uh, to hang the curtain up. So once you've done the double crochet chain two on the top row, turn it round again and this is the last row. On the last row make three single crochet in each space. So here you have the finished piece and I put it with the motifs I'm using for the main body of the curtain so you can get an idea of what it'll look like. So once the main body is done I'm going to chain along and cover it with single crochet and then I'm going to attach the top to it. If you would like the pattern for this flower let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about how to make it. It's not too difficult.